coming back. Thank you for the support. God bless you. And guess what? I arrived 1,000 subscribers this week. Yay! I'm so happy, guys. But this is thanks to you. Without you, I wouldn't have reached 1,000 subscribers. Continue to support me and I will not disappoint you at all. For the new ones, please hit the subscribe button. You're going to enjoy a lot. I talk of relationships, fashion, beauty, and life experiences in general. For today's video, it is going to be a get ready with me video while telling you my hilarious job interview story. So let us get started. <laughs> so I'm going to apply my BB cream. So guys, as I do my eyebrows, I want to start our today's story. One time, I was jobless, without a job, at home. And as you know, if you don't have a job and you're just there, the thing you do is to look for a job, because I wanted one. So I started looking for a job online, unfortunately I found it. I saw the advertisement online that they are looking for someone to do the job. So what I did, <laughs> I just sent my CV and then waited after two weeks after two weeks they called me for an interview i was so happy guys because the even the salary was written online when they advertised the job so the salary was so good it was i remember it was 500 euros at that time that money was so big for me guys so when they called me i was very very happy and i knew that my life was going to change Define my eyebrows now. It is always difficult to make the eyebrows look the same. <laughs> I don't know why. But anyways, let us continue. sharp edges <laughs> that's not my thing at all when you do this no hurry just take your time you know so let us clean up so as I clean up <laughs> this concealer um, the day arrived for the interview and I prepared myself to go for the interview dressed so appropriate <laughs> for the interview and I didn't know how the interview was going to be but I had experience for the job they were offering so I was very confident because I knew that it was something that I know. If they ask me questions, it is something that I know. It is something that I started. So I went and when I arrived, I was welcomed by the receptionist and they showed me where to go. So when I went, I found a group of five people. 
seated waiting to interview me guys when i saw all those people i was scared guys very very scared but i told myself that you need to be brave be brave don't worry after all they're human beings <laughs> there is no problem so i sat down and i'm like oh you're welcome i said thank you so we started the interview eyebrows done our next step foundation and i always mix these two separate and fit me so that i can get the right shade for my skin tone guys they asked me questions a lot of questions and I answered so well that all were impressed and they told me that you are very good you are very confident you did so good because I did an interview and <laughs> reached an accent that it became like just we are having just a conversation you know <laughs> Because I could answer everything that they ask and I could answer very correctly just like the way they want it you know but it's because that the job that they were offering is the job that I had done before so I was I had experience in that that's why I, I was able to answer so well so after the interview they told me to wait like 20 minutes so that they can tell me what next after 20 minutes they called me and they told me that you passed your interview congratulations we are so happy that you did so good so i was happy i was like oh my god thank you god so they told me now you should wait like 10 minutes so that you can meet the ceo of the company so that he can talk to you because that is our process i told them okay no problem there is no problem I can wait so i sat down and waited to go and meet the ceo of the company guys never forget your neck when you do your foundation when you do makeup don't forget your, your neck at all next time i want to put for you a tutorial for the eyebrows <laughs> i know i'm not so good on that but i can do very decent eyebrows <laughs> also remained I did not use all so now we are going to do the eyes and I have my palette here and I'm going to be using <laughs> I'll use these colors here this one the nude one this one and mix together this one after that I'll put the shimmer one so guys as I was waiting the time arrived to go and meet this CEO that I was told to meet. So I went and when I entered, he was like, oh, welcome. They told me that you passed your interview. Congratulations. I was like, thank you, sir. Thank you. He told me so. I want to invite you for lunch. On Saturday what do you think it was on Friday guys so the next day he was inviting me for lunch so I told him thank you sir 
but I will be visiting my boyfriend this weekend. I was like, no problem, I have a wife too. <laughs> there is no problem. You can still come. Give any excuse to your boyfriend. I told him, no, I can't do that. So he laughed and he was like, yeah, okay, no problem. So he told me, so you go home and the secretary will call you on Monday for what is next. So I told him, okay, thank you. So guys, it ended and I returned home. Very, very happy because I had passed my interview, guys. <laughs> Let us blend well this color. Because we need to blend so that it can be soft. So guys, Monday arrived and the secretary called me. She told me that uh, we want to invite you to come to our office tomorrow for another interview with the CEO. The first one you passed, so tomorrow you're going to make another interview with the CEO. I was like, okay. So when the secretary hung up, guys, I was a bit worried, like, I passed the interview. Why is that there is another interview? They never told me before that there were two interviews. So, but because I wanted the job and you know, when you are in need, it's you who have the problem. It's not the other person's problem. So I had to prepare myself to go for the next interview. So I always use this like to make sure that my eyeshadow stays good and clean and on the right place. So I always pass this concealer brush down here. Not too much concealer, just few then afterwards I blend with my finger just like this. Avoid the harsh line like this. See? And the same here. I blend with my finger. as well and here you see the line is still harsh a bit and then the bit here I want to apply purple this one here as always I always like to apply my eyeshadow down here using the finger it's more easier for me When Tuesday arrived, I prepared myself and I went to meet the CEO for the next interview. So I went and entered CEO's office and when he saw me he was like, oh you're welcome but he was not cheerful as he was the first day that I did the first interview so I noticed something had, has changed on him but I, I, I thought maybe he had a bad day or something like that but he was not cheerful at all he was very serious and <laughs> I'll stop here for this color <laughs> I don't want to exaggerate things <laughs> so guys 
this CEO started asking me questions that were very, very strange. He told me, do you like reading? I told him, yes. He told us you studied marketing. Uh, can you tell us what will be the first thing that you do when you meet the customer? You have the product and you want to sell your product to the customer because it was a marketing job, guys. What will you tell the customer? I told him. Then he was like, uh, what are the things that you are going to tell your customer? I told him that I will start selling the benefits that the customer will get by using the products. <laughs> it was like, oh, that's good. That's very good. You are so good. So he continued with a lot of questions about marketing and I answered all. And after that, he was like, can you tell me what is a rock? <laughs> what? <laughs> Actually, not say like what, but in my head inside, I was like, what is this guy trying to tell me, to ask me? I was like, what is a rock? Define a rock. I was like, a rock? Uh, did you study geography? I told him, yes, I studied geography. Hey, define the rock. <laughs> what is the rock? It's like, oh, uh, to be honest, I've forgotten what is a rock. So, okay. Uh, when did Tanzania get its independence? That one, I knew it, I told him. Uh, what was the biggest slave market in East Africa? <laughs> I told him, where were the slaves taken at first before they were being transported to other countries? No, God, please, no, no, no! Oil, is it? Oh, I told him, <laughs> like, um, what was Tanzania's colonialist? Oh my god, I told him, uh, they were Arabic and England. It's like, okay, uh, can you tell me? <laughs> Can you tell me what is biology? <laughs> living things and non living things. <laughs> Guys, okay, I tried to answer some of the questions. Then uh, again, he asked me, What is a lagoon? <laughs> oh my god, I remember he also asked me. Uh, tell me about the books you have read in all level, like in your English subject, the books that you have read. So I tried to tell him, like, you know, there is this book of Okonko, <laughs> if you can remember, and, and Clementine things, How are the Bus Driver, <laughs> all those books. So he asked me, and he also asked me, uh, which was your most liked page on the Hawa the bus driver? Tell me the number, the number of the page. I was like, uh, I don't really remember the, the, the number of the page. And he was like, okay, okay. Uh, why is that you don't know a lot of things that you studied in all level? I was like, oh, I have forgotten them because due to a lot of chaos when you grow up a lot of things you have to think a lot of things in your mind you you get you come to forget some of the things that you started in all level but you asked me i told you i started marketing and i answered you all the questions about marketing which i started recently so these ones i don't remember them all i am sorry it was like you know, for me, I still study till now. I like reading. I read till now. I remember everything that I studied in, even in primary school. I remember all. I was like, okay, that's good. <laughs> so 
guys i was a bit angry because the questions that he was trying to ask me they were not even related to the job that he was going to offer me <coughs> so let us do the eyeliner <clears throat> Sometimes I start here, sometimes I start here, I just start anywhere where I feel like I want to start. The good thing with makeup, if you want to do a very, very good makeup, settled one, you need to be gentle gentle and take your time like when you apply things just apply just in in a small amount so that if you do any mistake you can be able to fix it do the other eye So, mascara. Down lashes. So today I tried to put on fake lashes. It was my first time, so I had to put them behind camera so that I don't embarrass myself in front of you guys. <laughs> so they are here, they are the natural look one. What do you think? You can give me your marks, give me your thoughts, what do you think? How do I look with fake lashes? <laughs> so I'm going to try to contour. So guys, continue with our story. After that interview with the CEO, I was a bit disappointed. And I lost hope. With this job that I thought I had found and he told me that you go home we will call you if you have passed or not so what I did I told him okay there is no problem and I left and went home I waited for one week nothing no one called me and I decided to call myself to ask what's going on yes as long as I had lost hope but I still wanted the job guys I still wanted it so bad because remember I told you I was jobless I didn't have any job and I wanted a job so I had to call I called the secretary to ask what's going on and the secretary was like oh we are very sorry you did not get the job uh, maybe next time we'll call you if we have another chance so I was like okay but I understood everything that 
the problem was that maybe because I refused the invite of going out to lunch with the CEO, but he invited me to the hotel, you know, guys. <laughs> it wasn't that invite that you think that it's an invite, a normal invite. You go out with other people, with the CEO, but it's only two of you in the hotel. Can you imagine? So I couldn't do it. I couldn't. So I always apply my powder last. Because when I apply foundation, I just want my foundation to sit down on my skin. So now it is time for powder. I want to apply powder here or here because I want to apply highlighter. No here. Here. No. no, I made a mistake. <laughs> Blush. <laughs> so lastly, we are going to apply highlighter. So here is my highlighter. I think you remember it. My gift from Jackie. <laughs> And I'm going to be using this color here to highlight my face. Try to exaggerate. So guys, I lost the job. I did not get the job. And the story ended just like that. Very sad. <laughs> It was really a very bad story for me because I wanted the job. But anyway, can you believe, guys? <laughs> Asking you what is a rock, what is a lagoon? Who asked that in an interview? <laughs> but I think we should always be prepared for any questions that comes our way. It was so hilarious, guys. Afterwards, I told my friends and they were all laughing. They laughed at me. They were like, what? What kind of interview is that? <laughs> Do you see my highlight, guys? How it's popping? <laughs> so now I want to just Make sure I remove the harshness of the highlighter. Do you remember this blender, guys? It is also a gift from Jackie. This beauty blender is so soft and very beautiful. Highlighter should glow, but it shouldn't be like very strong and harsh. <laughs> so to sit on that skin to apply again my face mist 
but on the place that I applied highlighter. You see the glow guys? My lipstick. Guys, I love red lipstick. <laughs> if you've been following me, you know. I highlighted my lips too, here. I don't want to exaggerate a lot. <laughs> so guys, this is my today's look. <laughs> do you like it? <laughs> guys, I really want to know what do you think about my fake lashes? <laughs> so that's it. That was the story. This was the get ready with me, the makeup. I hope you really enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends, everyone that you think will enjoy this video. Comment what you think. Also, watch my other videos too. And don't forget to subscribe. I love you so much. You are always here, here with me, guys. Until my next video, I love you so much. Ciao, ciao.